Okay, here is the first problem of our fluid dynamics uh, worksheet. Um, so basically this has to do with lift uh, due to um, an airplane wing and uh, we're given um, what the lift needs to be, we're given the speed of the uh, air flowing over the bottom of the wing compared to the flow over the top and we want to find the flow over the top of the wing. So let's first <clears throat> draw a picture. So here's our wing. So we know the air over the top of the wing has to travel faster than the air over the bottom of the wing. So um, here's air coming around. It goes over the top and it goes down. It travels further than air which is traveling underneath. Okay, So the air underneath is traveling with some velocity uh, we'll call, or some speed we'll call VA, and that's 60 meters per second. And we want to find the speed over the, of the air over the top of the wing. And we know it should be faster. Um, great. So uh, we know how much lift we want. We want um, 1,000 newtons uh, per square meter of wing. So that actually 1,000 newtons per square meter is actually pressure and so we know that force is equal to um, pressure times area and um, our force of lift then is going to equal the difference in um, in uh, the, well, it's, it's related to the difference of the pressure over the top and the bottom of the wing. So it's actually uh, the pressure at B times A minus the pressure at A times the area. And so uh, we can actually solve for delta P, which is PB minus PA. We, uh, this is just the force of lift over area and that's actually what we're given in the problem to be a thousand newtons per meter squared. Okay, so that is what delta P is. That's the difference in pressure. Um, so how are we going to get velocity? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to turn to um, Bernoulli's equation. So recall Bernoulli's equation uh, in relation to this problem it goes something like this. Um, we have P A, the pressure at A, plus rho G Y A, the height at A, uh, plus one half rho uh, V A squared. So that's the left hand side of Bernoulli's, and this should equal um, P B plus rho G y b plus one half rho v b squared and it's v b that we want okay so uh, all right so the difference in height uh, we're just going to take that to be negligible so this is going to be zero okay um, and what we want is delta P. So delta P is PB minus PA and solving for that in the equation above here we get um, one half rho um, V uh, um, A squared minus um, one half rho vb squared. Good. Uh, let's just simplify this a bit. One half rho v a squared minus vb squared. Okay. Uh, so that is our delta p. Now. Uh, what we want is we actually want to solve for VB. 
So we um, actually just do that. We um, solve for VB. So we know, um, well, we could plug in some numbers, first of all. So delta P is this 1,000 um, newtons per meter squared. Um, we have one half. The density is given in the problem. It's 1.29 kilograms per meter cubed. And uh, we know VA is 60 um, meters per second, and we're squaring that. And we want to get our hands on VB. All right. So um, let's do that. I feel like I'm going to be off by a negative sign somehow. Um, yeah. Hmm. I wonder what I did wrong. Uh, well, let's let's keep working this through. So we have. Uh, well, I know why. Because VB, this has to be bigger than this. So uh, I know that the pressure underneath, ha since it's the air is moving slower, the pressure underneath is higher than the pressure above. So this delta P is actually going to be negative. So that should take care of, of my negative sign issue. Okay, so let's solve for VB. VB is going to be uh, 2 times, um, uh, no it's not, it's, oh yeah, it's going to be negative 2 times 1,000 divided by 1.29 um, kilograms meters squared. I forgot the units um, over here, so let's just include those. Uh, it's newtons per meter squared. This should be cubed. Okay, it's getting to be a bit of a mess. I'm sorry. Okay, um, right, this is squared, and this sign goes away. It should be positive, and I should have a plus 60 meters per second squared. Okay, um, so this looks like a big ugly mess, but when you actually plug in numbers and you uh, solve for VB, you should get 71.8 meters per second. And that's the answer. Hopefully I, I did all that right. The negative sign kind of threw me off. But remember that the pressure underneath, this is high pressure underneath, and this is low pressure. Okay, um, that's that.